Hi, it's Nikki here at the Sanctuary for Emotional Wellness and in today's video I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to raise your vibration. So the first one, obviously I'm going to talk about something that's very close to my heart and that is emotion code. Emotion code raises your vibration by releasing those more heavy emotions such as sadness, anger, fear, guilt, grief, all those emotions that make you feel low or what we call negative emotions they're actually released within the session and that helps to raise your vibration. Now, trapped emotions can be anything from the size of a, an orange to the size of a watermelon. And they become trapped when we're not able to deal with that emotion. It's like we are shoving it under the carpet, we swallow it. That then gets trapped in an energy field. And if you imagine carrying around balls of energy like that size at least, imagine how that's going to make you feel. It's going to slow you down. <clears throat> You won't be able to move forward so easily. It's actually dragging your vibration down. And after one session of releasing emotions, my clients nearly always say to me when I ask them, how do you feel? Like, oh my God, I feel so much lighter. I feel a little bit dizzy, like my head's in the clouds. Oh, I, I can see what I need to be doing now. You know, everything's so much clearer for me. And that's because we've shifted the vibration. The second one, energy healing, which is also emotion code is a part of energy healing. But there's also things like, you know, having a Reiki session or quantum healing or EFT. Anything that's, that's working with your energy is going to shift that energy and get it more and more fluid. As well, you know, doing chakra work, you're beginning to open up the chakras, and allow that energy to move. Because lower energy is stagnant energy. So it's really getting you going. Talking about <coughs> stagnant energy and getting moving. Getting outside and doing sport and exercise, and especially in nature. Anything that gets you going, gets you moving, is going to get that, that energy moving. And how do you feel, you know, when you've been out a brisk walk in, in nature? Um, you know, on, on a cool, crisp autumn day, you come in and you feel invigorated and alive. And that's because the energy's got going. So that was number three. Number four is um, being conscious of what you eat. So if you're eating processed foods or, for example, meat that have been um, things like battery hens um, slaughtered in fear, that is all going to create fear within your body. It's going to lower your vibration. So if you're a meat eater, try and go for foods that have been raised consciously, raised in love and then slaughtered as the best possible way through love and not through fear. Um, eat fresh produce, eat produce that, that is in season. Anything that has ingredients in it that you don't understand, that don't say around natural, that is going to lower your vibration. So keep as fresh as possible, as local as possible, in season, and anything that's grown in love. And obviously the best possible way is growing and raising your own food because then you're really as close to nature as possible. So watching how you eat. Number four. Number five, being out in nature. Nature in itself raises our vibration. You know, if you lay back and look at the trees and just look at the leaves blowing, it's impossible to feel sad. If you're walking along the road, look up. There's this thing that, you know, if you look up, you can't feel sad. And it works. It's incredible. And being out in nature, the colour of green brings us right into our heart chakra. And that is such a beautiful place to be, to really open our heart to love. And again, that shifting our vibration. Being enclosed in, in offices where there's a lot of, you know, the, the, um, the bad vibes of computers, of TVs, of synthetic environments, again, it lowers our vibration. So if you have to work in an office at lunchtime, go out into nature, go and hug a tree, go and hold a flower, go and connect it to nature in some part of where you can be. Even if you know you can't get out, have a plant by um, your computer. We just for a moment just take your eyes off the computer and just connect that plant to nature, to Gaia, and that alone will help to start to shift your vibration. Number six, meditation. Now we've all heard how you know meditation is so good for you. Now the beauty of meditation is it helps us det detach away from our thoughts. And this monkey mind that's always going on, we can't stop it. It's always going to be there. 
But meditation allows us to take control over our thoughts rather than our thoughts controlling us. So it's almost like this train passing by that we're not actually going to get on. We just watch it go by. And so that allows us to, to really take control over our thoughts and take a distance from them and say, OK, these thoughts are here, but I'm not entering into the process. I'm taking a distance. And very slowly, those, those thoughts will start to calm in your mind which then allows you to have this space in your mind to hear your own intuition, to hear your own voice, to hear divine intervention. And it's been known as well that meditation does shift your whole vibration and it also rewires your brain as well. Incredibly powerful. Number seven is knowing your truth. Now, I've just been... Um, connecting about human design with somebody that I know and it's incredible because it really helps you to align to the truth of your energy your absolute truth of your energy and how your energy works and I think once you know who you are at the absolute soul level you're able to align with that and by aligning to it you're actually able to say this is not for me this is for me that's not for me this is for me this doesn't bring me joy this does and so it helps you align even more and just help you to go to, to, towards more and more joy. And again, helping to raise your vibration because you're in alignment with your soul. Um, human design is incredible for that. I didn't actually realise how powerful it was until I connected with somebody who could really explain to me in simple terms how it means. And wow, it does completely change the way you look at yourself. And to know who you are in truth. Um, number eight, coming on from that, is do what brings you joy. If at any moment in time you're doing something with love and with joy, it's going to shift you. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, forgetting everything that you hate doing. It's bringing joy into that moment. So, for example, you know, we all have to do the housework. Now, I now wait for that moment when I feel, yes, I'm good to do this. If I'm approaching that housework with resentment, that's not going to fit. It's not going to bring me joy at all. It's actually going to make me feel really angry and frustrated. So the way to bring pleasure into it is to put music on. And music is a great way. That's going to be the one to bring in. Um, have some great music on. Listen to a podcast. Um, I have a friend who who um, sings, ch um, who chants as she does the housework. So it's bringing love into those moments. You know, it's like the, the person um, who, I don't know, works on a production line. They're not in their, their absolute best environment. But if they're working on that production line and bringing so much love into that moment and maybe singing while they're doing it, they're bringing joy and they're, they're making joy in that moment. And that's the most important thing is finding joy of where you are right now. And once you bring joy, you raise your, vib your vibration. And again, you're bringing in things that are going to match your vibration to it. Letting go, a huge one. But I was um, given this image of to let go of the handlebars that the divine is guiding me and all I need to do is pedal. And this allowed me to, to let go of emotions that weren't serving me. Anything else that was just pushing me in the wrong direction, it was, it was allowing me to let go of control, to let go of expectation. And it just frees you up so much. It gives you like so much space that you're just able just to do what brings you joy, move forwards, and then the divine will come in and just guide you with those handlebars. And this also ties in with um, choosing your emotions. Now, we all have a choice and you can choose not to worry. And I've done a video on this as well, that there was a moment in my time where I realised that I can actually let go of worry. Do I have to worry? I don't. It doesn't serve me. I can choose not to worry and I can choose just to go along with how things are and be in the flow. And once you become conscious of what you're feeling, you realise that you have a choice to let go of certain emotions. You know, some people have a little worry box where they just write down their worries and put it in the box and say, I'm giving that up to the divine. I'll deal with that later. 
And by putting it, physically writing it down and putting it in a box and putting it aside, it's like saying, well, I know it's there. I'm not putting my head, you know, under the, in the sand. I'm actually said, I'm going to deal with it another moment. Unless the divine can also help me with this. And again, it just frees you up. And so the last one which I touched upon is music. Music is a huge way of changing your vibration. If you're feeling really down and you put on some more upbeat music, it can actually change the way you feel. Now, saying this, it can be a very hard place to be if you're feeling really tired and you're putting on something that's really um, energetic, like dance music. You just feel like it's just like, whoa, that is just like really aggravating me. So it's not about going opposite. It's about putting something on that cheers you up. It could be, you know, nice lyrics. Take care of the lyrics that you're listening to, making sure they're positive and they're lifting you up. There's also, you know, about the vibration of the, the frequency of the music that we listen to, to choose only high frequency music. So that is 10, um, 10 ways to raise your vibration. So choose one of them. Might be Emotion Code with me. I'll, um, you can connect with me about Emotion Code at my website, which is nikkihoward.com. Or just choose, you know, whatever it is, it feels right for you. You know what is the right one to do right now in this moment. And go with it and just see where it takes you. So, as I said, have a look at more about what I do on my website. Please don't hesitate to, to like and subscribe because that supports me. And it also supports you because you'll be getting more notifications of more videos like this that will help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do put in your comments. I'd love to hear how you like to raise your vibration and if this video helped you. Take care and have a beautiful day.